Hi, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. And in today's video, I thought I would share the kits that I have kitted up and I want to complete this year. So let me know in the comments if you are a multi-kitter upper. <laughs> Do you have more than one? These are not all whips because I have not started them all. These are just um, kits that I have kitted up and I plan to do this year and I wanted them kitted up in case I just feel like just pulling one out and working on it so I didn't bring in the canvases which I probably should have but I think I might um you know what yeah I should have brought at least the stickers the but anyway um we could always look them up online later so so what I have here is I, I use the Elizabeth Ward. I really love this storage system because I love how pretty it looks. They're just so gorgeous. And uh, all the colors, they're so beautiful. But I also have um, some in the suitcases. So let's just go ahead and I kind of wish I would have got, I, I wish I would have got the canvases. So I might pause the video. Um, well, most of them might have stickers in them, so we'll see. Like this one on top is Lighthouse Overlook from Dream... Is it Dreamer Designs? Yeah, this is a Dreamer Design, and it's a Lighthouse Overlook. So I wonder if I have that one. I am going to pause this because I think... I'm trying to think if you would all would like to see what it looks like. So let me go ahead and pause this. Okay, I am back, sorry about that. So most of them do have stickers in them, I looked right now, but this one does not. And this one is a Dreamer design and it is Lighthouse Overlook. So that is how it looks. You see that's so pretty. I was trying to take this off really gently, but that didn't work out, so. So that is this one. So I didn't grab the canvases for all of them. That's kind of a lot. I don't even know how many I have right here that are kitted one two three four five six seven eight nine i think i have nine that are kitted up so i just thought we could kind of look at them really quick so what i did here and i try my best when i am kitting these up to kit it all in one container so like this one it looks like it has 56 colors so when I'm kitting it up I try to use as many of these containers as possible these small ones and um, so like this one this is um, right here so because I wanted to try to fit everything in here I just used a smaller container instead of going to the next size to fit it all in because I I'm trying my best to keep it all in one. So I just figure once that goes down, I could add the other one. Same with this one, which is 21. Let's see, 21. So that those two are, are in the same size. So if I would have put these in something bigger, I wouldn't have been able to fit it all in this container. Because there's also another one, 49, which is right here. And this one's actually in the biggest container, so. So I'm just making sure that this is on, that the camera's on. So that is this one, but isn't that so pretty, all these colors? And yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. And then I also have them, so when I put these away, they're on a shelf and they're just one on top of the other. And I have, I just have these, nothing super cute or anything, but I put Dreamer and Lighthouse because I didn't want to forget um, the company. Some of them, I, they're easy for me to remember, so I don't put two stickers, but this one I have two. So there's that one. And then let me go ahead and just put these on top so I don't. And then so this one right here is my Batman one. And see, like this one, I says Batman. I know it's a DAC uh, um, Diamond Art Club one. And this one I need to kit down. I just completed this one. And in fact, I made a video, but I don't know if it's gonna be up before or after this. So this one, I was able to fit a lot of extra things in it. I have like, I had more pens in here because I use multiple pens. 
and I had more cover minders because I was using different cover minders. So this one, because there's not that many colors, is like 29 colors. Um, I think, yeah, there's 29 colors. So I had a lot of room for extra stuff. So that's what I sometimes do. Not that I've done a whole lot of diamond paintings, but that's what I sometimes do when I have the extra space. And this one is one that I am working on right now. So this is a whip and so this one I have, this one, let's see, it's 40, it's, I don't know if this is accurate, but I think it's 41 colors and this is what it looks like. And so this one, I was doing some blinging out a little bit. I don't really like how my blinging out is coming, but I will share that on a post thoughts video. So this one I had extra space too. So sometimes I will take like this out move all this down, put this over here, and then I'll put my pens over here. I, I, um, I had grabbed all my pens out because I was, I'm using it on another, another kit right now. So this one, you can see I have some, some of these that are kind of worn down between, between using or completing my Batman one and doing this one. So, so that is this one. And then this is one, this is Hide and Seek from Craftably. And I'm actually going to start working on this one in March for the Mermaids and Magic that Shay, um, Crafting with Shay and Randy at uh, something better. I can't remember the, the exact, um, oh, you can call me better, I think it is. So I'm going to work on this one called Hide and Seek. Isn't that so cute? And these are all the colors so I do like that these are bigger but at the same time I don't like them so I like them because I have eyes that could you know they don't <laughs> they don't see so well oh and I ripped that one so so yeah so this is this one it's so pretty so this one has 56 colors and then I put it an extra one right here just so it's not wiggling and I'll probably use this as my trash um, container but look at all these gorgeous colors and that just so pretty so I like that these aren't sticking all the way because I think um, when I de-kit them I don't want to have to use all that goo gone and things like that but I think I am going to because when I try to lift this one up it ripped so so after that I started kind of putting it like on my jeans or something so they don't stick so well so that's why these are coming up most likely I mean, aren't they just gorgeous colors? So that is this one from Craftably. This was one of my first kits that I bought from Craftably. And I bought this July of last year, I believe. Towards the end of July. And this one's when they came in the tube. And this one is, I think this is a, yeah, the Polar Express. And this one I am currently working on. I just started it in February, like the 10th. And so this one I actually have a picture of. I have a picture, let me just grab it over here in my book. It's one of the last ones I just kitted that up. And this is from Diamond Art Club. And that is what this one looks like. And I guess I actually started it on the 12th. And I was doing, I am doing this one for Ticket to Ride 2023. I'm not officially entered in because there's a lot of them. I, they have groups in Facebook and you, so I, I just don't want my actual name. So I don't join, well, I joined the Facebook group that I'm doing the Ticket to Ride in, but I just don't comment my progress and all that. So anyway, but this is that one, isn't it so pretty? So this one has 56 colors and there were a lot of big ones. Look at all these, look at the size I had to use for these beautiful AB drills. And so these are all ABs and they're, there's a lot of them. So, but I was able to fit them all in and there's, there was a little space here, but there's not enough to put another container. So it's a little bit wobbly right there. So yes, I haven't been, I won't be able to like put a pen in here or anything, but I'm just thankful that they all that they all fit. Lots of pretty colors. And 
And then I have these two, oh, got some putty on there. I have these two extra ones that I can still kit up more, <laughs> but I probably shouldn't. Okay, so let's get these ones. So this one is Country Roads Take Me Home, and this one is a Chuck Pinson one that I'm going to do with the Chuck Along. I forgot what month that's going to be in, but I think it's coming up soon. And so that is this one. And once I start it, I'll put this in my log book. But look at all these beautiful colors, all these browns and oranges and autumn colors. I love autumn. It's one of my favorite seasons, autumn and winter. So with this one, I had the 433, which I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's right here. But I was trying to make sure I fit them all in. And so again, when this one gets low, I'll just add this into it. Same with these other colors. Like this one is 740, which is right here. And then this one is 898. I think it's this one right here. So if I had to use bigger containers, I wouldn't have been able to fit it all in. And this is 930. So these are all different colors. And then these ones, I'll just have to be careful, but that they're all, I want to get like a little clip for these, but I don't know if I will. I'll just be careful, although it's kind of scary because I'm kind of klutzy. But these ones, so this one is 434. Let's see, 434. Oh, it's right here. So I had really put this one, I packed this one. And then this one looks like it has some static in there too. So these ones were just packed and I didn't want to go a, a big one more size up. Like this one's 905. And it's a green. This is 904. Maybe it was in one of these smaller ones. Oh, 905. So this one was in a small one and I just didn't want to go to a larger one because I wanted to make sure it all had fit in there. So, and I'm not very good with estimating. Sometimes I have to, sometimes when I think it'll fit in here, it doesn't. And I go to the big one, the larger one. So I don't put my stickers on first. What I do is I pour the drills in first and then once I'm all done, I'll put the sticker on. So it looks like I probably could have put one of these in one more larger one and this would have been just like a little bit higher. So how do you kit up? Do you try to fit everything in one container if you can? I know one day I'm probably going to need more than one, but if I can swing it, I'm going to try my best. And this one I have been working on for a while now. I started this one November of last year, and this is a Bella Safina. Isn't this all these colors just so happy? So that is this one right here, a walk on the moon. And I am about halfway done with this one. I was gonna work on it in February cause I don't have any, there's no really events other than that one to get to ride. But I had thought I would have finished the I miss you already. So I thought I could do work on this one along with the Polar Express one. But that didn't work out. So anyway, I'm going to have to come back to this one and try to finish it up. So this one has like 43 colors. Oh no, it has 55 colors. And so I was able to use a lot of these small ones. So when you buy the Elizabeth Ward, uh, if you buy one that has just all the small ones, because you do use a lot of these. I don't know if you've noticed a lot of the kits. I have tons of these ones in, in here, in them. So, and then I just have some... Here's a blank one. Oh, and this one I'm using for like the trash. Although this is not accurate because before I was putting it in here, I had it in something else. But that is this one. It is walk on, a walk on the moon. And that's a Sherry Baldy, isn't it? I just love her artwork. In fact, I have a, I bought two from Saban when she was having her D stash. And then I bought two more from the, from the Sherry Baldy, the actual site. So I'm excited about those. And then here's my Alice. This one is 54 colors. See, they're so pretty just to look at through here. So this one's 54 colors and I haven't started this one yet, but 
I love all these colors. I need to get started on this one as well. And then I have, so I have this backpack that I take with me when I go, when I take my diamond painting on the go. So if I have a smaller diamond painting, it will fit here. Oh, look at like I have this one in here. And then I just add some extra stuff in there. And on this part, so the, the kit that I have here doesn't actually go to that one. If the diamond painting is larger, then I will just put it on this side and let it stick out. And then I will zip this up like that. And my diamond painting just sticks out and I don't mind. I don't, I take it out of the box. So I don't carry the box with me. At least I haven't yet because then it starts getting more bulky. But here I have this in here. And I also have carried this one in here. It fits in here too, if I don't have my hat and extra bags and all that. And this, what this, this one actually goes to what I have in here, which I will, I'll show you in a little bit. So let me move that. So that's my backpack, my diamond painting backpack. So this one is, oh, this is my flower one. And so this one, is my custom one that I got at Mary's Diamonds. And then I like it so far and I haven't had any issues, although I haven't got too far on it. Let's see, do I, I know I have it in here somewhere. So that is the one that's in the backpack that doesn't, that is in here. Let's see, where is the flower? Oh, here it is. I started this one uh, in 12, 13, 22. 22, and it's that flower. So I can't wait to finish that one because I really want to see how it's going to come out. I need to work on that one again. And so that is what is in here. Oops. When I take it with me out of the house, I just put a rubber band on it to make sure it doesn't open because sometimes these, if you rub on it, it just opens really easy. So that's the only thing I don't like about, about these because when they're stacked up right here and I pull one out, the other one flips open. But it's not a huge deal because it's not like they're all going to fall out or anything, any drills, because it's on a bookshelf. But if I have it in my backpack like this, I, I don't want it to open. So I just add that rubber band. i got to remember to put these back in those. So that is this one. And I don't know where the lid went to that. So let me just do something real quick. Sorry about that. Okay, I've mentioned before that I get a runny nose when, I, when I'm doing my video. So like this one, I just have like tweezers. This one has extra room for things. And here's a pretty cover reminder. So this one has 40, about 40 colors, I think. So yes, yeah, so this one's really nice. I'm enjoying doing this one. I was a little bit worried because some have said that they're Mary Diamonds, Mary's Diamonds. They didn't really enjoy too much, but this one's working out. This is before, of course, before um, Bella and Nicole has purchased the company. And then I have this suitcase one right here. So this, I, I at first thought I was gonna get a lot of these ones, but I ended up really liking these because they show all the pretty diamonds. So this one, whoops. That was a little bit loud. I do like this one though, because when I take it, I could also put all the extra stuff. Ooh, I need to take that out so I could use this one. This is Sweet Snow Merry Mud. And then I have some trays. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a Bella Art. And then I don't remember, <clears throat> I apologize. I don't remember where I, I got this one on Etsy, but I don't remember the name. This was my first tray that I bought, it was, the, was these ones, they have lids. So you could put all your extra stuff, and I think I put another, I kept a whole toolkit together there. And then I did it, I did these in order, going like this, but I don't like how I did it that way. I was just trying something new. I think I'm just gonna go in order this way, instead of trying to go like up and down. 
And so this one has 49 colors. And this one, I don't know why I don't have a sticker in here, but it's the one that I have here. And I put a rubber band, but I'm making sure it's on the plastic because I did that once where I put a rubber band on the actual drills and it popped my drills off. I'm so goofy. So I won't put a rubber band on it once, you know, once I have all of the drills showing. So this is one from Craftably that I am working on. And I just took this one to the coffee shop and here's the picture. So it's just a small one that I take. This one's Bluebird in the Daisy Meadow. Really cute. Let me see if I can take my glasses off so I can see here what I'm doing through the camera. Isn't that cute? So this is the one I kind of take with me. So this is not done, well, as you can tell, but it, I've been working on it since I think November as well. So I'm gonna put the rubber band back, but it's all has plastic right here, so it shouldn't hopefully ruin anything. And then my last one, let me go ahead and put this back in my backpack. So when I put it in my backpack, I just try to put it in here in a section that, and I, I'm aware that it's in here so I don't squish it, overly squish it, and it's been fine. So I just put it in like that. So let me, and I, with the trays and stuff, I kind of have to just move them around so I could close it, which I will do after, I'll put it, fix it after the video. And my last one, isn't this so cute? This one, I had a smaller kit, kitted up in here, but I don't anymore. Look how cute it is. So I think when I do my coffee one from Diamond Art Club, I'll probably kit that one up in here. Um, Cause, and so this I'm gonna use for my smaller ones. But it's so cute. And I, I think I'll just add the rest of the numbers from the stickers. And then, so it has these. Let's see, so this is 30, right? 25, 6, 7, 29, 30. So this one holds 30 colors. So I'm just, I just plan to use this one with my smaller ones that have 30 or less. Like this one had less, it was 25 colors. And that's this one. It's so cute. Look at the difference in size. Let's see. Let me take these trays out for a second. But that's like the difference. It's so cute. I really like it. I would like to get one more of these, but I don't really need one. So I found a really pretty one with the tree on the cover, but I don't really need one. Because I still have two of these Elizabeth Ward ones. So I would buy these when they went on sale. And they had a great deal with when you would buy a bundle of one with the 45. And then the other one was like the, I think there's 82 of these little ones. And I, I sometimes it was like $51. And then I think the most I paid for the set was 55. And then at one, one of these I got for like $20. It was because the box was damaged, so I was able to get it. I think we're selling it for a little bit less. So, yeah, I really like these. So I was thinking of kidding up the Wizard of Oz, but then I thought I would wait because I have two Wizard of Oz paintings and I'm not sure which one I want to do for the Wizard of Oz event. And yeah, so I'm trying not to kit any more up right now because I really need to work through some. So how do you, what storage containers do you use? Let me know in the comments. Do you have more than one whip going? Do you have just a bunch kitted up that you want to do like me? I know there are a lot of people who use these to, they have a, a lot kitted up. Um, and so I'm wondering, cause I seen some where they have like 30, 30 kitted up. Um, so I can understand how they get there cause it's so fun to kit up. I realized that I really enjoy that process. When I first started diamond painting, I didn't think I would enjoy that. I thought it was going to be like a tedious process for me, but I really like it. I really enjoy kitting up. So it's kind of hard not to use these, these other two. I also have a bag full of these because when you kit up again, you use a lot of these little ones. So I have a bag full of more of these ones. And then 
of these, the largest ones. And I ended up buying through another, uh, like a three pack on Amazon of these. I had a coupon. So I was able to get three, can, I don't know how many are in there now, but I was able to get three packs for like $12. But that was because I had a gift certificate, not a coupon, sorry. Um, normally I, I, it was almost gonna be the same price as a whole kit. So that's why it's kind of hard for me just to buy them individually because by the time you're done, it's almost the same price as getting a whole kit. But since I had the um, gift card, it came out to $12 and I think I got, I think I got like 20 of these ones. I'm not sure. I should have brought that to show you. So yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let you go. I don't really have anything else to say about, about my beautiful kits here. So remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And you all have a great day. Bye.